this foundling off as my son? I thought it was God's plan. You lied to me. But I've made up for it in so many ways. Okay, uh, okay. None of this, none of this makes any sense. If, if, if his biological child died, how is Sierra his grandchild, Allison? How am I his son? It was all up to Roxy. This isn't my baby. Of course it is. No, my baby had a little mole. No, that was just a little piece of dirt. The nurses cleaned it off. Isn't he beautiful? Mitch will be so pleased. Oh, I bought it all right. I let Allison convince me that the baby that she put in my arms was the baby that I gave birth to. You need to take this baby over to Statesville so Mitch can see his beautiful new son. He's expecting you. Aren't you coming, Allison? I need to stay and thank my sister for saving this baby's life. Oh, and don't mention any of this to Mitch. Just say he's perfect and that I'll be by later. Now, go on. We don't want to make him angry. So I left the hospital with a kid that wasn't mine. So what? Wait a minute, the baby you took to Mitch? It was you. Somebody left you at the hospital. And we don't know who. And Allison took you from the nurses. And she put you in my arms. And I just bought it. And Allison convinced me. Because I was so scared of Mitch that I just sucked it up. So then I took you to the prison to see Mitch. And I made sure that he looked at you. And I never ever looked back. So... All this time you believed. Oh, yeah. Oh, I believed it. Yeah, Allison convinced me. But that wasn't the truth. Because Mitch isn't your father. And I'm not your mother. Roxy never knew the truth. She thought the baby I handed her, the baby she raised, was Mitch's son. She still doesn't know what happened next. Please tell me somebody at this hospital stepped in. My sister. In ways you never imagined. Leah! My God! Is that... Yes. The child you left with me. His heart held up and his drugs kicked in. He's gonna be fine. Where's the mother? We've gotta tell her the great news. Roxy was already on her way to the prison with the other baby. I couldn't get to her in time. I had no choice. There was no turning back. Besides, his real child was sickly. He was better off with the healthy baby. This is what happened to this sick one. Where's the mother? You're looking at her. What do you mean? It's my baby. I gave birth to him. Allison, I had no idea. Why didn't you tell me? I thought he was a goner. No, he's a beautiful boy and he's going to be fine. Here. What is the matter? You know me, Leah. I'm not really the maternal type. What do you mean? I don't want him. What? He'd be better off with somebody else. Oh, Allison. Think about what you're saying. A baby is a precious gift. And for people like me, who are unable to have children of their own, the idea of giving it away is just... It's inconceivable. Are you sure this is what you want? Yeah? I need you to do me another favor. That's how Leah Joplin became the mother of your biological child, Mitch. You know, we're gonna get you 
to bed at a decent hour and you're going to start taking naps. Any sign of Disney, I'll come in. Mm. Don't forget, I'm a doctor. I'll yeah, my brother's a doctor. They make the worst patients. Uh, don't you think it's maybe the McDaniels who make the worst oh, patients? Oh, I see how you are. <laughs> and forget, I'm the one who wanted to call the ambulance in the first place. Yeah, but now that we've ascertained the problem, we're okay. Well, we still got a problem. The problem is you. Me? Yes, you. You're too smart for your own good and you're stubborn. No. I mean, how are you going to get to the hospital if you're dizzy? You can't drive. I'll call a cab. No. You're moving in with me. Just like that? Just like that. This is about our kid, our future, you and me. I want you with me. driving for now. <laughs> okay. Well, I gotta go. My ride's here. Um, but I'll see you tomorrow, right? After school? Right, and by tomorrow more kids will have signed up, so we'll have a full crew. Great. Okay. Bye, Layla. Bye, Jessica. See? She's better. <sighs> Hope so. Dad! Hi. Hi! Thanks so much for picking me up from school. Sure. Anytime. So how was your day? Great. Really? Mine too. <sighs> That's what nannies are for. station. Allison Perkins is here? Yeah, she's locked in the infirmary with Mitch Lawrence, Skylar Joplin, and the baby. Uh, yeah, but the baby... Yeah, you're right. There's a way in. Warden, that material that I asked you about, I'm gonna need it. We're going in. Uh, Commissioner, request permission to lead the unit. I think we've got that covered, Oliver. I'm sorry. It's gotta be me. I'm that baby's father. So you're telling me that your sister, a trained doctor, just took your word for it that you had given birth and, 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 and took the baby, no questions asked. She wanted you. So you took the baby that you thought was yours to the prison. I took him to Statesville to see Mitch. Wait, he's got to see this. Ma'am, you can't be here. He's got to see him, and then I'll go. Is that my son? We can't be together, son. Not yet. But I will come for you one day. And you and I will do great things. I promise. You will be a king among men. So you're saying I was the sick kid? The one your sister raised? Skyler. You know who raised you. Leah Joplin, which makes Mitch your father. This is your son, Mitch, and his daughter is your grandchild. How can I thank you, Allison? <laughs> Take good care of him. That you were in his. Neither did I. And you believe Allison Perkins? Deep down inside, I knew it wasn't the same baby. But I let her convince me. But it wasn't the truth because my own baby died. All right, that's it. That's all I know. So if this is true, it is true. I don't want it to be true. I want you to be my son, but you're not. 
So if you're not my mom, and Mitch isn't my father, who am I?